Hello, and welcome to the Immortal Gates of Pyrocast. I am ZK, and today we have a beautiful game on Lost Province. So, in the bottom right, we have the red team, Hydra, playing as Ajari, and his partner is going to be Flicky, playing as Orzum. So the Croft faction, both of them playing Croft. On the other side, we have Hydraulics. Oh, we see a little scout going across the map right now. But yeah, on the other side we have Hydraulic playing as Ajari as well. His partner Draco is going to play as Mala, so he's going to be playing Aru, the second faction in this game. So as we see, there's a lot of new details added to the Lost Province. And we open up here with Hydraulics placing his Legion Hall at the front. This has the advantage of giving some Hallowed Ground the very start. Hallowed Ground is a blue zone going around the buildings, you can see here. And the Hallowed Ground allows units to have special abilities. Some can shoot from afar, some get extra shields. So very useful to set it forward. However, that does put your building in danger. So always have to be careful how you want to place it. At the top, Hydra is scouting around, trying to make sure, trying to see what his opponent has. And Draco opened with two E4 extractors. Well, you can see here, Hydraulics opened with none. And Flicky opened with none either. And Hydra opened with only one. As you can see on the mini map, Hydra did expand as well. And it's always interesting to look at the early game. That's really what you want to scout. The E3 extractor timings gives you so much information on what type of build they're going for. So Draco is going for some type of tech heavy play as as Efer. You can only collect from E3 extractors and being the second resource, it's a bit less abundant. But once you get started, it, it just really helps you tech up. However, because of that, Flicky and Hydra do have a much faster expansion. And it's very useful for them as the fire expansion allows them to get their economy up. And from the economy, you can do other stuff. And we can see that Mala, uh, that on um, Drago's side, he did put down the second building, the the Amber Room, and the Amber Room allows him to get the second tier tech units. Here we see Hydraulics getting some early power, power being the third resource of the game, and power allows you to use Immortal spells. Hydraulics, as we can see at the bottom screen, is already at 63 power, and it's gonna go for the second power camp. So as soon as you kill them, you get the power. And since Hydra and Flicky decided to go for very, very fast, very, very fast expansion, they don't have the units quite as fast, which means that Hy well, Hydra's going to try and steal the Darius's little teapot, the little scout unit. But of course, since they do not have those expansions that early, they're, they don't have the units on the map, and Hydra Hydraulics is able to get a fast e uh, pyro lead from that. From that, even though he didn't have his fashion expansion, his economy is a bit behind. But map control is always very useful in getting that pyre from the start. Very fun for him. Here we see that Flicky is going for these uh, for these towers. These towers do a bit of damage, but really they get 15 pyre. Allows you to put place foundations afterwards. Tower foundations, towers we can see right here, and we can see here that there's going to be a blood veil going down for Drago. So blood veil, a second tier unit, allows him to build some spellcasters. We're going to see a lot of those later on. And on Drago, also building a few Icors. So Icors have a small AoE in a line. So they're very, very good against light units, which most of the initial units are. So these Sipari, these red guys with the spear. And again, once more Sipari. All light units will get, get hit extra hard by the Icors on the other side. We can see Flicky, both of them just going around the map. And we see Hydra here just microing back his weak unit. You gotta pull it back to make sure it doesn't take too much damage. We can see there's two parts of the HP. There's the shields and the main HP. The shields regenerate pretty fast for each race. Ooh, Drago coming in right now for a chaos. Going for the moat lines right away. Getting all the moats of Flicky. Hydra reacts a bit faster and is able to save most of them. But one stays behind and Drago still has, still has his four Icors back. And we see Drago, Drago's checking around to see if he can get any more. <laughs> oh, wow. Hydra had placed uh, the tower, but Hydraulics was ready and placed it. He's also interrupting Flicky's army right now. Flicky trying to head back home. Oh, Hydraulics uses the Infuse, getting into raid, and body blocks it. Kills one of the Zentari, gets the second one, and the third one isn't long for this world, and is dead. One, only one left for Flicky. Hydraulics didn't have to defend everything with his Sipari. He is still okay right now. And yeah, he's able to defend finally. Their, their economy lead might have been... Hindered a bit by this strong attack by Hedrix. We can see there's a lot of moats that go to the tower for defense. Everyone starts with a tower, which is very useful at the start of the game. That early defense is in, is super useful to defend these type of harass. Or at least keep your moats out. Ooh, the moats have one last shot, but some of them survived. Not too bad on Flicky's side. Losing a lot of moats there. A lot of mining time as well. And Hydra has the Absolvers out. Absolvers are very strong zone control units. We can see that Hydraulics also goes for them on his side. So as soon as they deploy or siege up, they would do a lot of damage. Oh, Drago kept one of his... Oh, he had kept one of them alive and tried to get a few more moats. I'm not sure he got any there. But that was great map control by Drago. And we see a small fight happening now. Hydraulics is deployed, so Hydra has to be far, stay far away from them as they shoot like machine guns and never stop firing. Drago still has two Icors here, so does extra damage. Snipes one of the Sipari there. Hydra has to be careful here. He has a tower right up top, so he wants to be able to go there. 
And yeah, Hydraulics and Drago being very careful not to go too deep here as they don't want to get surrounded. And Warden is out. Warden at flying unit, so Drago and Hydraulics have no anti-air right now. Uh, we see, yeah, exactly. There's no anti-air, and the Warden's going to go for a first kill right now. Pretty expensive unit. Um, that unit allows to spawn some kiddos, and kiddos are very useful as they're free units if you're able to get some out, but no. Uh, Hydra kills one from the get-go of his Warden. Warden, as you can see, has a small charge where it's up, so the six shot does extra damage every single time, so always have to be careful. Uh, always fun to micro those around, making sure you can get that six shot off. And the bases are up, third base going down for Hydra, same for Flicky. On the other side, we see Drago's a bit slower on his third base. And Hydra's going to take advantage of that, going to siege up in front of it while his Warden gets kills in the main. Very nice two-time play from, from Hydra, but we have to be careful. Drago is sending reinforcements at the back. At the front, Hydraulics just making sure that everything is safe here. And yeah, Hydra killed the base, it's going to be safe. The Warden is still doing damage. At the same time, Drago is doing some damage in the middle line at the bottom. Hydraulics being safe at the front here, trying not to take too much damage. And yeah, Flicky just going to maneuver around, try and figure out what's going on. There's a few scouts all over the place trying to figure out what your opponent's trying to do. And the Warden runs out now. The two Wraith Bows are out. Good anti-air units there with the little, with the little crossbows on their head. <laughs> Once more, Drago relentless with his i harass. Getting a lot of mo kills. There's only two mining right now. Oh no, four of them out of the six. So he got two kills there. Very good for him. As Flicky just going out on the map. Hydraulics going for more pirate kill. Everyone has a lot of power right now. Drago just used some probably to put down some type of tower somewhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't really see right now uh, exactly where you put it. Hydraulics got the power. It's going to keep moving forward. Incubators are still here. He made more after the first one died initially. And yeah, game is slowing down a bit. Both both sides expanding and trying to... They did their initial harass one with the Warden. Warden's getting ready to go back in on the top. But we can see Hydraulics and Drago are just going around. Uh, Flicky going for Absolvers with Zephyrs. Zephyrs have a really fun wind step ability, which allows them to teleport closer uh, to their opponents. And Dodge Massage, Reposition, a very, very fun ability. Uh, Wraithbow still here. Wraithbow can attack the Warden. He wants to be careful though, and going to the Bastion to be safe. Bastion in a good tower. And Hydra is going to head back out with his Warden, trying to keep it alive. Drago is well installed on the top of the ramp here. If, if he can get... Uh, the jump on his opponent trying to go there is going to get a few kills for free. And here we saw the wind step there just to snipe that little scout, a little teapot scout. Hydraulics take, is going to want to take his turn very soon. Warden's coming in. Very strong army here for Hydraulics, but he has to be careful he doesn't get pincered. Draco's going to come from behind to try and help out as well. It's going to be a two versus one attack against Flicky, and Flicky is not in position, he's getting surrounded. Flicky running back. And Hydraulic's not letting him go. The Infuse goes down. Infuse is going to body block, get one Absolver at least. The Zephyrs are lucky and going to be able to survive for now. And Hydraulic doesn't give chase. He wants to go for the main base, try to go for the third. I think he's going to get a few Zephyrs here with good kills. On this side, Incubators are out, sending some Kittles. Kittles are free units. So if you die from them, it's, uh, you die for nothing. And basically, good play from... We also see a siege mod at the back, very, very high range. But Hydra has the thrones out. Thrones, thrones, this crown jewel of the Croft Empire. Very powerful units, have a small dislodging ability with their swords coming down onto their opponents. However, this might not be enough. This base might be forfeit right now. Hydra doesn't want to commit too far forward. A Drago pushing it back, and the base is getting very, very low right now. Flick, Flick is going to be back on two bases. He has units at the back trying to, trying to come back for it. And the base goes down. Yeah, Zephyrs from Flicky still at the back. There's a really nice position for Hydraulics and Drago got that base off. We got to be careful at this point. <laughs> oh, the Siege Maw is still here, shooting from afar. Oh, getting in another Resolver. Great play by Hydraulics there. Just be careful not to lose his Warden. And the Thrones are in place. Ooh, there's the there's a Swords going down right on one of those. On the, on the Dread Scissor. And another Swords come down. Those Masters do want to get a kill. They get one Throne at least. Only one Throne surviving there. Hydra. Thrones are very expensive. You want to be careful not to lose them. And Absolvers are great at zone control, so you don't want to jump into them too quickly. And the Warden getting a few shots off. Is he going to get it? He's going to get a last shot. He gets a shot, but not enough to get down the Absolver. Good play by Flicky there, keeping it alive from the, from, with the Zephyr. Small skirmish going on here. As both teams want to take control of this position, Flicky doesn't want to lose this position again. However, Hydraulics and Drago have the top of the hill. And the top of the hill is, 
it, it's hard when you can't see on top of it and you can't attack. You're just going to be you're going to be bombarded by everything if you try and go up when you don't know what's coming at you. Some good zone control here from Flicky, but Drago's going to try and go through with it. Wraithbolt wants to stay alive. Still going for a surround, going on both sides, doing the fight you want. The Zephyrs, training out for other Zephyrs, and one goes down there. Flicky still has a few Absolvers at the back. And Draco's preparing some type of counterattack, going to try and snipe Flicky's base at the top east. Hydra letting him have that one, even though it's mostly on his side. And yeah, Hydra's going to take a base at the top east. Drago, of course, is uh, is going to check that out. At the same time, Hydra never stops trading. He wants to keep the fight going. And Drago sees the Molt there is going to go. Going to go and kill it down, take it down. And Hydra's going to send uh, as many thrones as there are mass hunters there to try and take it down. Fortunately, he's going to the wrong place, but that doesn't change anything. Hydra's going for a big attack here. And his mass hunters are going to be able to attack the, the east side as well. Hydrago not stopping the aggression. He's going to try and find another group position on his opponent. And Hydra doesn't care. Sending all the thrones to the main base right now. There's going to take a... That's going to be a lot of damage to those units. Is he just going to go... Yeah, he's just going to go for the main base. going to try and snipe the god heart. And Dragon Hydraulics not quite in position right now to stop it. The Godheart is going to go down. And Hydra right now is going to be have a nice path of retreat. Hydraulics has no choice but to go back to base and try to defend this. The Thrones are still here. You got to be careful. Another Infuse goes down on his units to give them a bit extra speed. You have to be careful. Nice dodges on those swords. And Drago knew this was coming, so went from the downside and they're trying to snap, to snap those Thrones out there. The, the sword's coming down on both sides. And Flicky at the same time, seeing that, decides to go for a counterattack and tries to get take out Hydraulics' base while they're both concentrating on trying to take out of Hydra's army. Flicky, great position there. Incubator's still doing some damage, destroying some free Quiddos. And yeah, those are Castigators. Castigators are a great counter to Thrones. Thrones, Hydra uses max ability, gives all his Thrones a lot more shields. But the Castigators have a lot of damage dealing output. Flicky on his side. Flicky trying to keep the attack on the other side. But, Fle but Hydraulics comes back in time and snipes the Absolvers. And this push is ended. He did lose the base though, so still a good push on Flicky. Just gotta be careful about what you lose for that push. There are a few thrones left. But Drago and Hydraulics are not... Hydro Man, what a great counter attack from Drago. Going for the sides and killing a lot of moats there. That's gonna be a lot of income missing from Hydra if he wants to remax on his thrones. There's sight. And this game is just action back from side side. Hydraulics going to the north side. Gonna try and catch some thrones or see if there's expansion in the north. Draco just repositioning, trying to find the best angle of attack to try and take down his enemy. Hydraulics coming in through the east. And Hydra's just going in the center. Oh man, those red sisters, those are expensive. They have a great ability on the root vice. Oh, two got sniped by Hydra. Great plays. Good static D from Draco, so Hydra doesn't want to commit too hard. Oh, and they flanked him. The high However, the thrones do. Ooh, there's a root vice. The thrones are stuck in their position. They can't move. For a few seconds, that are slowed. They're going to be sniped by Hydra Hydraulic. Great castigator play here. A lot of root vices. And ooh, some barely survive. And the Sipari are in place to do some damage to try and survive. <laughs> and Hydra keeps wants to keep pushing forward. Castigators are here. A great shot. One is just barely surviving there, and he he finally goes down. Drugs microing back, pulling back, and Flicky comes in from the back and to attack at the deserted army of hydraulics. Still some nice root vices from Draco, keeping all those units rooted and in place. A nice counter attack from hydraulics at the same time on the other side. Hydra and Hydra's going to send some thrones back to defend that. Doesn't want to lose his third base ladder. Both teams are taking heavy losses, and Flicky's well positioned here. He's going to try and take out that base. Hydraulics keep doing some damage, more moats are going down, but the thrones are coming back now. This, this is a nice position here. Hydra, good playing of his units, can get all this effort, and then he can keep going on to push. But Flicky is here with a lot of units, still pushing forward. Hydra, Hydraulics is well positioned with his Zephyrs. Zephyrs shooting, shooting down at the Sipari and the thrones there. Only four thrones, and the four other thrones are coming forward. But Flicky has a good army here. And he even has a pillar cost down. Oh, the base does go down. Wind step forward, try to snipe a few more units, and that's going to go back to the protection of his Absolver. Absolver does heavy damage to everything. Has to be careful here. That's a lot of thrones, man. Hydra does love his throne production. He loves getting a lot of them and being so powerful and with great micro and dislodging abilities here. 
Hydraulic is going to have to pull back Micro, and Micro is hard out here if he wants to take him out. Hydra moving back towards the center. Yeah, Hydra has reestablished bases at the east side and probably going to the north. Flicky, Flicky also established a base to the, north, to the bottom. And yeah, Hydraulics and, Dra Hydraulics and Draco establishing bases on the west side here. Very powerful and it's not the most powerful army from Flicky, but it has a lot of movement potential. It can just go around and roam everywhere very freely as Zephyrs are some of the fast units. And Hydra is just going back into Draco's main. Good snipe a few buildings at the very least. Gets one. And he's gonna get a second one. Hydraulics and Drago aren't heading back quite yet because they're trying to defend against Flicky's attack at the front. They have to be careful on both sides. And Drago finally sending back some units. That's a lot of thrones. Gonna take a lot of units to take those down. Let's see if Drago can do it. He has Wraith Boats, which are a decent counter. And there's a Heaven's Age is coming down from Hydra, giving all his units an extra 40 shields. A lot of damage to, to push through. Also affects Flicky. So Flicky's units all have a lot more HP right now. Salshins are here as well. They'll give extra shields and healing for Hydraulic. It's a big fight going on. Cascade is not too useful against these heavy units. And Hydra's coming in for the flank as well. Hydra coming in with a lot of his thrones. His throne army coming down. Swords going over. And that's going to be the GG from Hydraulics. And GG from Drago follows sweetly afterwards. So, hopefully you enjoyed. And thank you for watching, folks.